Ouais, bébé. Dun, 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 dun. Bam bam. Okay. Bam. Okay. I'm going. I don't know why I grabbed it the last second. I think it was a battery. I think it was the battery. Alright. Captain Megan on the case. We got... Dee Dee. Emmett. April. It's all good. Alright, what what are my goals with my life? Keep a full crew alive for a month. <sighs> you got it. Um, should I be clever or flexible? I'm gonna be clever, I think. Hi Jeff, how you doing? Crank it. Just gotta stay alive for 30 days. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, glad to hear it. You know exactly what to say. Your convincing speech was more than enough to prove your worthless captain of the last human crew in the universe. Um, I think you might have popped on the other day. I definitely would not consider myself family friendly. I will definitely swear. And this game is... It's fine. I don't know if it uh, if I would say it's a kid's game. I can't think of anything that's done necessarily that's too much. Um, uh, your crew started cheering even before you were finished with the speech. Long live Captain, fill the cabin. If any sound could travel through the soundless void outside the hull of your ship, that would be it. One thing is for sure, and you're ready for any challenges this galaxy throws at you, inspired by your le smart leadership style. I allowed myself to power up the enzyme generator in the back. The shuttle will produce some useful chemicals for me. Okay, so if you use an intelligence, you get chemicals. If you use anything else, it seems to give you minerals. Okay, that's good to know. Captain, the crafting module in the back. Uh, the cabin is done. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay. Great. All right, so we want to... Right away... We want to... Upgrade... The system or the lighter? I've not seen a benefit for doing the system just yet. So I'm going to do the lighter first. Uh, and then what are we going to do? Ah. Okay, well, in that case, I'm not going to use the lighter first. If it's going to do that. Yes. If it's going to make me do that, then yeah, I guess I'll upgrade that. And that way I can use the lighter. Astro Citizen Protocols dictates that every piece of equipment must be regular checked for breakages. Uh, Space-time glitches and spells by witches. We missed our last check. What with all the cosmic shenanigans? We should check our gear. Absolutely. Dee Dee, get on it. Check our lighter's working. If you upgrade the system, then it will craft more stuff. I... You can't craft two things at once, though, right? Because it's not letting me. Does it generate more materials? I don't know. I haven't seen an upgrade for it. Uh, a benefit yet. The shuttle sounds a bit rickety, Captain. A fan above the terminal. No. What does it do then? 
No, but you do. I don't understand. Uh, the shuttle seems a bit rickety, Captain. A fan above the terminal is making a clicking sound, and there's a big cable knot uh, behind one of the panels. I recommend a touch of spring cleaning. We don't have a ladder, to, so balance on one of the chairs. Yeah, sure, I'll balance on one of the chairs. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? I don't really understand what you're saying, Jeff. Uh, you investigated the clicking sound behind the fan inside the uh, fan chamber. Your crewmate found a handwritten note, probably etched by an astrocitizen engineer. It read, I love Ted. <laughs> Goss. You pointed out to the others while you cleaned up inside the vent. The crew reported feeling warm and fuzzy. Dee Dee is still loyal. Module is upgraded. Dee Dee as well. Uh, so Dee Dee's alert and Emmett's alert. Get more information on how to craft stuff and so then more crafting. Okay, so you just get more options. Right, okay. Okay, cool. That's fine. Okay. Um, grand. Captain, it's important to keep yourself and your crew well fed. One portion of delicious canned soup, blah, blah, blah. I will have Emmett do the check. You better not lose me a soup. Hey, it went well for a fucking change. The routine supply check is now complete. Well, well, look at that. The numbers add up. Good job, human crew. Uh, the number of suit cans on board is 9, plus 2. Correction, the accurate tally is actually 11. Additional foodstuffs were delivered to this shuttle instead of entertainment supplies. Lucky you. Oh! Oh, okay, I see. So if you bring... Okay, if you bring those, like, boxes and stuff on board, then you might have... Okay, that makes that makes sense. I understand. Uh, instead of entertainment supplies, lucky you. The food you collected is more than sufficient for now. Just don't eat it all at once. I was wondering where the fucking thing that I took was. Uh, since Emmett did such a good job, I think it's only fair to nominate him as your payload officer in this role. Emmett will produce some minerals for you daily, as long as he respects you as captain anyway. DD is still there if he wants to eat something, and... Okay, great. So you're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry, but I'm not hungry. If you put people to certain jobs, they might give supplies like minerals or megawatt. I have, I have caught on to that. I haven't caught on to, like, what uh, specifically each person might give, or if it's role dependent. The oxygen level is dropping. We have a malfunctioning filter in the main onboard support circuit for oxygen waste, or Moscow for short. I don't know who named it, but we cannot rule out sabotage. The Soviets. We cannot fix it. You can reach Moscow from the zero G space between the hull and the outer deck. Well, April's flexible. That makes sense for me. Crank that, soldier boy. As April descended below deck, she noticed an obscene hand drawing of an American and a Soviet. April blushed furiously, then tripped into a mass of wires like a fork diving into a spaghetti plate. Still tangled, she forgot to pause the airflow before removing the filter. When the carbon dioxide hit her, April made a face not unlike the Soviet in that drawing. <laughs> Many brain cells have, must have died in that very important moment. The sacrifice was not in vain, though. We now have a fully functioning air filter. Okay. Great. <laughs> Super duper, guys. Well done. Are you all good? And we're now all hungry. Is that is that correct? Grand. I'll I'll feed us. All right. We're still waiting on anything. Okay. What we got? Um. Space travel can be dull, but there are still a ton of ways for your own fun. Trust me, I live in a computer. Let's design a game. Your game will need a core mechanic, which could revolve around an item, get creative, what kind of game would you like? Let's use a lighter and basically make uh, amnesia. 
Uh, so you have to do poker start first. So yeah, just... Yeah, perfect. And that should start you out, I believe. Um, you design the game around your lighter. The core mechanic of the game is chase the, <laughs> chase the crew around the shuttle. The person you were chasing get well, burned. They owe you 10 push-ups. You played until you realized how much the fire made you miss Earth. Um, at least you could camp there. Remember camping? You and the crew sat next to the lighter thinking about roasting marshmallows. All right, everyone is happy? Great. Super. Still nothing. Um, all right. Um, your attention is required, Captain. This is most abnormal. We are registering unknown transmissions, but I cannot identify who is sending them, or more importantly, what they contain. Might be a solar flare interference, or worse, a type of Soviet encryption. Damn Soviets. We need to decipher these signals as soon as possible, for all we know, one signal could depend on it. Um, all right, well, get on it, Dee Dee. Get on it. First contact. Perfect. Um, Captain, you need to see this. Uh, blah, blah, blah. We've found some aliens. And uh, don't mean the Reds. Damn Soviets. Um, blah, blah, blah. One of the signals seems familiar, but the message itself is unclear. Perhaps when we get closer to the source, transmission will clear up in outer space. Dee has found a job. She is able to trace some electromagnets to the source. Uh, T3. Potential landing spot in our flight paths. Wait. Potential landing spot in our flight path. Our ETA to that celestial body or whatever it might be is T3. So what? Three days? Followed your recommendation to award Dee for her performance and assigned her uh, the role of your communications officer in addition to her standard duties. She will ensure that you get some power for crafting modules regularly. Okay. Thank you for the water, Discord. Alright. Woundaba. Now. We'll get more power. You guys better get me lots of stuff, alright? You better get, better get me lots of stuff. Captain, we stop moving. Oh no. Nautomaton is tethering us. I'll play his transmission on the main display. Want to do good in the universe? The fluff scales need your help. Picture of an animal, a fluff scale presumably, fills the screen. It's a cross between a wild hog, roadkill, and a snake. The roadkill looks at you expectantly. Since their masters went extinct, fluff scales suffer freedom. Unaccustomed, they are on the verge of dying. Donate sip to the poor fluff skills. All it takes is one can, and I will gratefully let you go. Um. I mean. Yeah, sure. Here's some soup. You dicks. Alright, T2. T2 till we land. The transmission about suffering fluff skills clearly moved you. The automatron uh, seemed genuinely surprised when you approached with a can. Finally, the most typical response involves weapons, and you were the first to donate. Overjoyed, the automaton shared some of its battery with you and promised more if you referred to it as friends. Excellent. You tried to describe Earth and how to get there, but you get too emotional to finish your story. With the grace and social manners of power drill... <laughs> The automaton turned around and sped away without a word. Uh, we are still on an approach to a potential landing site ETA T2. DD is still loyal. Alright. Well, that's great. Uh, let's upgrade our lighter. Let's upgrade our lighter and everyone is still happy. Life is good. Captain, we are now in a field of cosmic gas, its origins unknown, though I have a theory. Yeah. So April, you gotta you gotta you gotta nail this one. Alright, April, you gotta pull this one out of the hat. 
Because last time you saw a drawing of two two men shagging, and you you fucked it up. So you're gonna have to nail this one. And no, this is my four, fourth journey. <laughs> two of them have been very short. One of them I got today, like I want to say it was like ninety or something. Uh, but I, I made that was my first one. And I made a lot of mistakes. I would have thought I would get better, but apparently that is not the case. Ava did a great job containing the gas leak inside the shuttle. She also succeeded in isolating some of the gas for us to rework it into great, uh, useful chemicals. Smart. Excellent. We can make a first aid kit. That would be great. Uh, I'm sure you will agree that it's fitting to make April your science officer. Starting tomorrow, April will be generating uh, useful chemicals for me every day. Okay, so I'm getting some of everything. You're still on an approach uh, to a potential landing site ETA T1. Uh, and April is hungry and Dee Dee is hungry. This is space version of 60 seconds. Uh, yeah, the, I think this is the original, I think. Have I ever survived? Nope, I have only started playing this game like this week. So definitely not. Alright, make me a med kit first and then I will get a sock puppet. Um, yeah, we eat when I'm hungry. Them's the rules of Captain. Uh, did you see that, Captain? You... Your long-lost rubber chicken just floated past the shuttle. Oh my, there are thousands of rubber chickens, and they're spilling out of a tiny machine. Could be an abandoned duplication device. Maybe we can replace the chicken with something useful? I'm gonna risk a chemical. Over a can of soup. Because I think it's probably gonna eat my chemical. I, if, if I was going to guess, I think I'm going to regret that decision. 